we are going to play the new man which is a piece for for the audience so there are no actors involved there's no real stage involved it's just the space as it is and we put some chairs in it and some light and um, then the people will listen to an audio piece uh, which is dividing the audience so uh, and the piece is dealing with this uh, theater utopias of the 20s like Bertolt Brecht's uh, or uh, Severod Meyerholz or Rudolf van der Barnes who is, was a dancer so they all dreamed of a stage with, which is vanishing and, and an audience which is participating or activated more or less um, or of, of the division of the audience like Meyerholt who, who uh, uh, always thought it's a good idea to, to divide the audience so we are you know, we're literally doing these things uh, and, and try to remember uh, because they all are all also involving bodily concepts like like um, Laban for example who, who uh, uh, proposed a whole system of, of movements for dancers and so in a way we are we are dealing with these ideas that the new body produces a new man and and try to yeah the piece is about remembering that and and bring it in a constellation especially with with the for, uh, fourth position I, I didn't mention yet uh, uh, the one of Charlie Chaplin who for sure is a, like a parody of all these uh, kind of utopian concepts uh, introducing the tramp as a, as a person who is not fitting with his body in all these kind of new men so uh, we should expect that uh, visitors should uh, participate in yeah he could he, he doesn't have to <laughs> but if he, if uh, they do not do it then simply nothing happens and uh, the the possibility of making this experience of different um, techniques of movement is really yeah, only possible if um, they follow the voices of the radio and um, we are using radio for this play and and um, yeah try out this these movement concepts There will yeah. be a workshop. Mm -hmm. What kind? Um, in, in this workshop, we will also work with radio, and we are thinking about um, we we um, yeah uh, are often working with the medium of radio, and uh, for us, radio is interesting as an everyday life medium, so which always interferes into everyday life situations, and so we, with the participants of the workshops, want to um, look for small um, ideas uh, of making radio which interfere into the everyday life. It could be the pedestrian zone or the market, maybe of or um, it could be a play yeah, for, for other places um, uh, of the city we do not know so far because uh, we will make up um, plans with the participants of the workshop. Could you explain the name of your group? Yeah, first of creation. Uh, yes, it's a strange name. It's just uh, when we choose it, we thought it's a kind of name which has no meaning, which is interestingly enough, there's nearly no name which has not really one meaning or the other so so uh, as you heard in, in, in Croatian it could mean squid um, in, in, uh, in Latin it's, it's ligna it's connected to wood so so but we, we thought really that it's an empty signifier and, 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 and uh, one which we can use as a, as a company name really like like a name where people say ah this is Ligner mm -hmm. and it, so far it works so, so for example there's a big wood fair in Hanover which is next to the place where we were living but um, we never got mixed up with them mm -hmm. so it's okay.